Hey everybody, welcome back to GDPG. Uh, we're uh, back with more Mario Maker fun, but today we're doing something a little bit different. It's sort of an experiment, I guess. Um, but we're going to do a 100 Mario Maker, um, or a 100 Mario Challenge. So we're, we're not showing off any of our levels today. Um, but we're going to go through some use, other user-made levels and um, kind of talk about them. And hopefully we'll make it through all 16 levels, but due to time, who knows. Yeah, um... I, uh, I'm pretty critical on games. Oh yeah, new game. I'm pretty critical on some stages. So just so you know, if right off the bat, I'm like, oh look, it's another don't move level. It's not that I hate don't move levels. It's that I just think that they're fundamentally against what Mario Maker is all about. And so we're going to skip them. I mean, the other thing too is that since there's no challenge involved, it's just not, it's not fun for people like us to play. And I think for a Let's Play especially, it's probably not as much yeah, it's not actually yeah, it's fun to watch. And it's, we, game design wise, we can't really. We, there's say, nothing to comment on. Like, we can talk about, oh, it, this is interesting because they did this, this, and this, but ultimately it's like. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we're basically we're going to skip them if we come across them. And it's not because we're trying to be mean, but, you know, you are mean, so. Are you not going to play? Oh, we're, we're going to use our fancy new controller. Oh, oh, I'm playing. I th yeah, I thought you. We talked you about specifically this. asked, and I said, no, you can. Oh, really? Whatever. This is a weird controller. This is a really weird controller. Boop, well, boop. that's what you get when you get, like, third-party controllers. But I like Afterglow No! Okay, so right off the bat, that was, I mean, that was pretty cool. It was like, oh, here's a gift. Yeah. But you better, you know, make sure that you don't mess it up. And, cool. I think you already messed it up. Oh, no. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, or not. Uh oh well, don't go back that way. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, if you needed the star to get across there, then it would actually be kind of bad design because, you know, yeah, you don't know what's in the You have a limited blocks. time and a limited window to get through. Um, at least if you needed both the star and the propeller, right? Yeah. Um, but actually, if you got the propeller first, then, oh, wow, this level is... <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know why I died. <laughs> so that's an incredibly short, slightly through the air. Yeah, uh, I'm actually a little surprised that that made it into normal mode. Maybe it's for assholes like you that just decide to die at the end. Oh man, so we have some fun. I, I have some fun stories about my opinions towards certain stages. Yeah, uh, I'm sure that'll come across. Oh, oh, you. <laughs> maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. <laughs> because occasionally you mess up. Oi. I guess the star is is cleverly placed in a spot where uh, it will get into that little alleyway instead of like hitting a wall and bouncing off and falling down below the level. So maybe the idea is that you're supposed to chase the star if you're not quick enough. Chasing the rainbow. So why do you think that that was even like, what do you think the person's thought process was behind making this stage? Um, I mean, maybe it was just honestly just that, like, oh, the star is going to evade them. They're going to get the propeller hat and they have to chase the star. Um, either that or... Like, what about the rest of this? What's all, like, it's it's showing that you can take multiple routes of either the star or, or this, you know, the propeller, but... I don't know. Maybe it was, like, an aesthetic choice? I, I've noticed that a lot of people like to have just swarms of enemies or... Things happening on the sides of the, the screen that aren't actually something that you interact with. They're just like fun little, haha, look at this. Yeah, I mean, I personally think that's okay most of the time. It's only bad if it's like nonsensical or like it makes the level feel cluttered, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because I had a lot of artsy things going on in like my Mariovania level. And I, I'd say that's not very different than... What we saw What there. we saw in a lot of other, yeah. Oh, okay, so like right no off the time. bat, you were given only, what, like 60 seconds, something like that? I actually so. didn't realize that you could make the the um, timer change? that low. Oh, yeah, man. Like, at, oop, I knew you could... Uh, I'm just going to go up. Uh, I guess not. Like, I knew you could change the time, but I didn't think you could make it... But, but so why it was that it looked that like wrong? you had a path. Like, it, it was basically like a choose-your-own-adventure. And oh, then you chose the wrong, path? I guess so. You better I mean, the, run. You other, got 20 seconds. The other path I saw looked like it was a dead end. Yeah, it was... Uh, I actually kind of like this, though. This There's, is... there, these are uh, newer stages that I've seen developing recently um, of, like, choose a path kind of deal. Um, <gasps> and they have, they do have... You know, oh, Man, they really is short amount of time on this. died. Okay, try again. OTK. 
Go, 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 Mario, go. No, stop Don't sliding. slide on the wall. I didn't mean You to. fool. I'm sorry. But no, I, I actually can't say I've ever seen another level like this. Why'd you go down the same one? There, what's the other path? There are no other paths. But there were literally no it other gave paths. you the wrong noise. I know, but there are so no other paths. So then what's there was so the yeah there was one right below that. Yeah, and that was a dead end. You don't know that. It. What we if there's a thing? What if there's a thing? What would there be? We can't jump. Actually, and hit you a know what? No, block. that's a really you know if you are about to beat it, you should actually restart because I want to point something out there. But you're probably gonna die. Which path? I bet you it's the first one. Oh wait. Wait wait wait. All right, so at that point, right, if that is a dead end, do you know what you have to do? You have to press start and restart over. Like, it forces you in a situation where you can't get out of it, and so you just have to start over and lose oh, a life that Oh, you're way. right. It's, it's not... It's actually not good. No, that's it's very bad, and I've actually seen people on the Reddit and stuff get, like, very angry about yeah. it. They're just like, this is garbage. Like, you should never do this to your players, ever. No, I, I agree, because, like, you're not even using the mechanics of the game to cause the player to lose. Mm -hmm. I mean, technically you are, right? But you, Mario should lose by getting killed. Yeah, not killed. by being fatigued out in a corner, dying, right. it, thirst. It's... It literally becomes a time waster, and design-wise, wasting your players' times is honestly one of the worst things that you can do. Um, yeah, especially in, in like Mario Challenge, where they, they want to play through quick games. <laughs> oh my. Oh no. It's one oh, of these. That's that. Well, I could see other people had sim similar results. This is, these are one of those levels that I think you and I have talked about on the show before, where there's just like an onslaught of of enemies and it's just like yes it you get a challenge but is it it's a is it random interesting? it's random it's, it's like rng they... it's totally rng did you just oh the block was under you i thought you jumped through that so also, like what do you want to talk about design with this because there's really nothing to talk about this is the kind of stage that's literally meant to just show off all the little costumes you've unlocked i so, think it's it's a way to get easy stars well, we're not even getting stars out of this. Or, um, lives, I mean. Oh, no. That's terrible. I like that. Well, I guess that part could have been interesting because if you had gotten a mushroom while you were jumping, could that have caused you to die? I don't think so. It doesn't really so. slow your momentum. Oh, no. What, what's, what is with all the mushroom status? I'm going to go through this. this. <laughs> all right, I've chosen my You're gonna form. You're going to choose your costume. Yeah. I, see, that wasn't so bad. Uh, yeah, because at least they did it in a separate room. Is this a... Is, I think this is a don't move. <laughs> Alright, so that's three in a row. Either because it was completely unfair, because it was pointless, like, just a costume show. Whoa! I did not know that was a thing. Alright. House of Secrets is the name of this level, so it's already pretty promising. Alright. I'm excited. Now, I wonder if it's going to be, like, House of a Million Mystery Blocks, or Hidden Blocks, Oh, or... no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow, that was... Ah. ah! What happens if they have wings? Uh, Do they just move faster? It, yeah, it looked like they were moving faster. Alright, White Fox, I've got your number. Oh, Not those mushrooms. Literally. I've got your How do you stage. do those mushrooms in the background like that? The the ones that float by? Yeah. It's, I think, a sound effect, actually. Is it really? Yeah. That's pretty wild. Does this do a thing? Oh, no. There we go. That might do a thing. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man, that's funny. Okay, so that's actually similar to the problem of, like, this thing, you, you pop a block, something jumps out, and it kills you. Um, well, now, that granted, one... that was just coincidental, and I, I don't, don't think that was on purpose. Yeah, I don't know if the spring is what killed you either. It might have been that... It crushed me. It, the spring crushed Are me. Are you sure it was the spring? It could have been that, that other flying block. Because I, I feel like the spring you generally just go through. Oh, that's just going to keep going, isn't it? All I could right, be wrong, we'll though. Here. But yeah, I think that was more coinciden coincidental than it was, like, intentional. But I don't see the point of it having been there, so that's kind of the other thing that we've, like, kind of talked about in I mean, the past, was just having unnecessary things. Like, this was, like, obviously, like, a, it's a secret, so this was a trap room, and that's fine. Yeah, I think, I mean, it kind of goes hand in hand with the name this? of this level, right? House of Secrets, so I guess the idea is that you never know what you're going to get into when you, you know, open the, the box. And that's that's pretty good. Like it, it, with the secret game, it's especially with Mario. There's no easy way of teaching you 
are telling you in like making the player make an educated guess on which direction they should go. So right. it's just a matter of like, you know, taking the guess and then working with it. Oh, oh nice. my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh man. I can't go through that. It's Luigi Mario. I can't. Are you uh, sure you can't forever go through mushrooms? It? Oh, I see it. It's spawning mushrooms. I don't okay. Now I'm I'm weird Mario right now. It's it's Luigi Mario. It's uh he's called Weird Mario, thank you. Very Is he really? I thought it that yeah, was like the Luigi mushroom. It's the mushroom. weird mushroom and you get it from You can jump higher though, so maybe you can get something uh maybe even in the original area. I mean, uh, so far I I do have to give my compliments to this level because we've already gotten more gameplay out of it and have had more interesting things to say about it in general than any of the other levels we've seen so yeah, far. Yeah, that's so. true. <laughs> So what am I? What do you want me to do with that, buddy? Like you obviously have a purpose for this right here. You think so? I don't think so. Really? I, okay. I still don't think oh, no. there's a, a purpose to that. Just get more weird mushrooms. Weird Mario's. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually. Uh, the P block doesn't go, change much. Go back up to that this area. Yeah. Maybe uh, there's something we couldn't reach. Maybe. No. And there was nothing here. Oh, wait. There it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, bam. There you go. Oh, that was a little me Metroid esque. Yeah, it, it quite literally required you to have this new costume in order to get through it. And I think this is the only one that increases your jump height, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is actually. Most of the costumes don't do anything, but. I think there are the few that This is actually, that was really fun. Dodging everything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah, okay. I actually kind of dig this level. So it's just like interesting areas one by one. Oh. oh. I guess it takes precedence of this over the weird mushroom. Oh, come on. Give me, I want that thing. I want that thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great job. You've done our Sad audience day. a service. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's another... F oh. What? Ah. We don't need weird Mario. Ah. Uh, okay, it looks like I have a path choice here. Uh, I'm stunned and he's going to throw a hammer at me. All right, we're good. Oh, boy. It's very, like... I want to compare this level to kind of like a carnival fun house. A little bit. Like, there's a lot of just like crazy stuff going on. Oh. Uh, just like, whoa, this no, is no, wacky. No, 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 no. Whoa. Whoa. What's the. Oh, God. It's like, I want to move, but okay. Sometimes uh -oh. you just got to trust the design. Did they just like make you go slightly through? Slightly put in a don't move. What the hell? Kamek can take away the, the fucking. Can I not win now? Wait, wait, go through the. Can you. Oh, whoa, what? Whoa, it's time a... out. You can do that? I guess? I didn't know that Kamek could do that. That was totally Kamek. Kamek shot it. Is this new? Is there an update that went through that I didn't know about? I don't know, man. I I've mean, never... There's, well, there's for those of, of you who know how to do this and I don't, you should tell me because uh, White Fox with your House of Secrets, uh, you're definitely getting a star because yeah. you taught me something new. Dude, awesome. That was awesome. I've been looking for a way to like have that, have basically have a boss fight that had a key right and that was a kind of a way of doing it close enough i don't think it required you to kill kamek um i think it just came back after a certain amount of you time but so? either way i don't know it yeah it's it's close enough to where it sort of forces you to fight kamek especially because he designed that room to be so narrow that it was very likely that kamek was going to hit it absolutely yeah there, I mean, and the initial starting position of kamek was just behind it so yeah. when you entered it there was no, it, you had to basically survive the area for mm -hmm. a certain amount of time, at, at least. Floating platforms. Bye, Zach. All right, well, we'll see this thing in the yeah. next episode. So, yeah, I guess we're going to keep doing this for a little while. We'll, uh, yeah. I don't know how we'll release them yet. We might still just release them on Saturdays, but either way, um, stay tuned next week for the, the Christmas. Well, not next week, uh, it, two weeks from now. <laughs> <laughs> on, on the 26th, we're doing our holiday playthrough of, of Mario Maker levels. So if you have a holiday-themed level, send it to us send it to um, us. before next week, and we will play it and record it. Yes. 
Uh, hopefully it's well designed and not a don't move level. <laughs> if it's a don't move, I can't promise that It'll we'll play more on. than one. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I anyways, mean, as long as it's fun and obviously, like, we're looking for the theme, you know, we want to play something holiday related. So, yeah, let's do it. Cool. Well, anyway, thank right, you for watching and stay tuned for some more. And uh, if you have levels that you want us to play, send us uh, a code for it and we'll check it out. Do it. Bye. See you in the archives. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to GDPG. Oh, we're starting. Or not. We can. I, you were like. No, no, we, no, no. This. You know, we'll start. We'll start. That's fine. Are you going to start like that? I guess we started. <laughs>